for the highway of life like the signs out there on the road is for the highways on the road and now it's up to you to read them and then when you see what you were warned about you look for it in reality for if if it does no good for us to have prophecy if we don't see the fulfillment of the prophecy what you supposed to be looking for it to come to pass and so all I'm asking you is I know that the, that the slavery was supposed to take place but until you show me another people that has served another people for 400 years in history books other than in the prophet, prophetic books I can show you the 400 years of slavery in the American history books now I'm asking you to show me in Egyptian history where they had people in slavery. We're dealing That's with all it. I'm asking you. Let's, let's get back to here. Is that too much to ask? Let's get back to here. Because if you don't want this, you don't need to go nowhere. Unless you, unless you say this is a lie. Is this true? Now, are you, are you, you honestly think that... I you believe justified, what's written. Do you honestly think that you were justified in what you just asked me? Oh, yes. yes. I would ask any man that, including you. Okay. Well, uh, you're not exempted. You're not exempted for me if asking I did not you is believe, this a lie? If I did not believe in these books, brother, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have brought them up here with me. Well, something's wrong. You. Oh, so now so, I'm telling you, the only thing that's wrong is that you have a different understanding of it than I do. Well, let me ask you a question. Moses never led people out of Egypt in the scriptures. That is a prophetic story. So Moses never talked to the burning bush. It never happened. The burning bush. Mm. You want me to tell you my understanding of that? Oh, please do. Okay. <laughs> the burning bush. If the, the, the reason that it is called a bush. It is not talking really about a bush. It's talking about the word of God that has, bu has been put in a bush-like form. And now that... Now you know, when you come to visit me, I'm going to show you how to treat guests. Because I don't do that. You don't do what? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not mocking you. I'm sharing my thoughts with you. Even if you disagreed with my thoughts, why, why mock me? I don't, I don't I mean, think, y'all mocking I mean, the brother? I don't think they're mocking the brother. That is not the way. I, I don't believe that we're mocking you, brother, but see, you No, the thing is, when I'm explaining, when I'm, when you're explaining to me, when you're explaining to me what you got out of a scripture, I listen. I don't grunt. I don't, I don't make faces. I just listen. No, I'm sorry if I'm Because, making... <laughs> because that, that is... That is just that is just the way of civilized people. Well, brother, if, forgive me if I'm making a face. No, no reason I'm not why, talking about you. No, but I'm talking about me. I'm talking and about the only reason why, because <laughs> you you saying that you understand the scriptures, but it is written, your ear tries words, as the mouth doeth meat. Right. It's also written, does our law judge any man before it hear him? But I'm listening to no, you. No, but you're not hearing me out. Okay, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. The Bible says, and they now, went I'm on. I'm telling you that the burning bush is these scriptures here that's talking to me. Now, that's it. That's it in a capsulized form. I was going to lay a foundation for it so that you could get understanding, but that is it. The, that the, the scriptures is talking to me. They are on fire and they are not consumed because the fire is a spiritual fire. Now, now let's so, go to the next. So one. Moses ain't never talked to no burning bush. I'm talking to the burning bush now. You, Moses? Yes. <laughs> are you Jesus? When you say Jesus. Are you Jesus the Messiah? I'm the son of man. Are you the Messiah? I'm not the one that brought the gospel. Are you the Messiah? Yes. Are you the Messiah? I'm the Lamb of God. My Lord. In the volume of the book. I My come. Lord. My you are? That's me. You in some hot water now. All right. You're the Lamb of God. To yes. take away the sins of the world. Yes. My Lord. Prove it. Okay. Thank you. So you're saying he's Christ. All right. That's what he's That's saying. He's Christ, he's right? No. Amen. Oh, yeah. Listen. Look, look. you saying now, you're Christ. I have not once tried to put any words in your mouth. So, you said you're the Lamb so of God, don't, brother. Don't put words in my mouth. Let me tell you who I am. All right. Tell us who you don't are. You, don't let's you get tell busy and go to work. Amen. Okay. Now, let's start off. <laughs> 
in the uh, fifth chapter of Revelation. Mm -hmm. It says, I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the, on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. Now, do you want to give your understanding of that first or you want me no, to... No, because see, now you're supposed to be talking about yourself. Okay. I want you to just go ahead. All right. <laughs> the book is referring to the Bible and the Holy Quran. They are actually one book. Then it says, And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? Then when it says, Who is worthy, it is referring... Uh, to the uh, uh, word able it's just like when you know a ship can go out on sea and float without sinking you say it is seaworthy well when it says who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof now the seals which are seven are referring to the, the seven things that God hates which keeps his, the understanding of his word closed to you regardless of how much you open up these physical books and try to read them if you are too proud if you have a, 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 a heart that divides it, wicked imaginations, turn to the, the sixth chapter of Proverbs for me and the sixteenth verse and read that. For God hates proud people. And, and so pride is a, a seal that keeps us from understanding God's word if we are too proud, self-exalted. Read it, brother. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 16. These six things do with the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, yes. and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, yes. feet that be swift in running to mischief, mm -hmm. a false witness that speaketh lies, mm -hmm. and he that soweth discord among brethren. Okay, that's seven things. And as long as we are guilty of those things, then the book remains closed to us. But the scripture asked the question uh, about uh, who have prevailed. Let's read the next book. It says, And no man in heaven, that means no prophet, no one that had been sent from God, no man in heaven or the earth, neither under the earth, meaning nobody who had passed on, or nobody who was present on the earth. Then it says, Was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. You know, in order to say that you have opened the Bible or opened the Quran, in order to say you have truly opened it, you would have had to open it and understood what you read. But if you did not understand what you read, it was the same as, as though it was closed to you, even though you had it open. So now it says, and I wept. Now these are prophets talking. This is the revelator John talking here. He said, and I wept. He cried because he couldn't understand it either. He said, I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, for behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, and hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. That's you? Now, yes. You come from the and tribe of Judah? Actually, it should have been tribe of Shabbat. But oh, wait a minute. For the sake of... Wait a minute. Sake of you come from the root of David? I am the root of David. So this is talking about you? You're, yes. It's all, all right. talking about me. Let's see. Give yeah. me Romans chapter 1. Okay. Amen. Verse Romans, 3. Romans chapter 1 and at verse 3. He also says he's the Messiah. We're going to see. Okay. Follow me. Romans chapter 1 and verse 3. I want to soak you a little. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, mm -hmm. which was made of the seed of David, mm -hmm. according to the flesh. Now, the root of David. The scripture says, Hath not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David out of the town of Bethlehem, where David was? So he says he is that root and offspring of David. David. The Messiah. Right. Somebody lying. Now, first I told you I'm the root of David. I didn't mm -hmm. say I was the offspring of David. If you're the root of a thing, you are where that thing gets its life from. And do you spring from that thing? No. Did you, you spring from thing, Elijah Muhammad? The thing springs from you. 
Listen. The root of a thing, if you know anything about, about agriculture, you know that the root of a thing is is the, the thing that nourishes the new creation right. to life. Right. The the crown of the root is where all of the root is made one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then from the crown comes the new creation. And the new creation. And what I'm telling you is that I am all of the prophets in one man. And the new creation that came out the ground sprung from the root. The new creation, I'm the beginning of God's new creation. You're the beginning of yes. it? Yes. You are? I'm the beginning and the ending of it. Show me, show me Marvin Muhammad in here. <laughs> I'll show you myself in here. Show me. First, I'll show you before, what I before, did. before he try to find himself. Just a, just a moment. Let's, let's, let's not let, don't let, do let, that. Let me finish, brother. No, I ain't doing that. To you. <laughs> well, you may not be doing that to me, but I am telling you, I'm going to do that to you <laughs> because nobody. And it doesn't make a difference to me who you are. That's right. You're going to come in my presence. You mad at me now? Not at all. All right. Okay. The Bible said I force the right okay, words. Well, I love you anyway. That's nice, and I love you too. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, nobody, nobody Amen. is going to come in my presence, number one. Now, you just told me to do something. Now, you going to let me do it? Yes, but I'm going to let me finish, oh, brother. Right. I can do it. Okay. He said he's all the prophets rolled up in one. Mm -hmm. Basically, he's just like saying he's the seal that's right. of the prophets. No, no, that's not what they're saying. You ask me what I mean by that. Don't you interpret right. what I say. If he's you Paul, ask what I mean. he's Ezekiel, Jeremiah, the prophet Muhammad, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus, the Messiah, mm -hmm. all rolled up in one. Now the you Christ. Can. I'm their son. No, the Christ. I said, I'm their son. Christ. Was he a prophet? And you say you no. all the prophets rolled up when in you, one. When you talk right? about Christ, you're not talking about no one individual. The scripture says in Corinthians 12 and 12. Get it, brother. 1 mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 12. Yes. Yeah. For yeah, as I'll, the body is one. You correct me if I do it wrong, if I read it wrong. It says, for as the body is one, mm -hmm. meaning as our bodies here, is one body, mm -hmm. and have many members, and all they being many are one body. So also is Christ. Meaning what? That means that my finger, if it could talk, now it would say I'm Marvin Muhammad. Mm. Now if my feet could talk, my foot would say I'm Marvin Muhammad. But actually no one member by himself is Marvin Muhammad. The whole body is Marvin Muhammad. The whole, the, all of the prophets together are the body of Christ. And I am their head. You're the head. You're the head of the body. Yes. Bad man. Yeah. Now let me go in. No, no, no. Let let's, me let's go stop on. right there. Just stop right there. He's the head. Mm -hmm. Let's compare what he said mm -hmm. with what the Bible said. In Ephesians chapter 5. And, yes. at, and at verse 23. Mm -hmm. for you, the, you see what happened when the devil make a fool out of you? Amen. You see what the Bible says, let no man think no higher than he ought to think, but think soberly. soberly. When you think higher than you ought to think, and think you're the head, right. you're the head of the body. My Lord. Listen. In Ephesians chapter 5 and at verse 23. For the husband is the head of the wife. Yeah. Even as Christ is the head of the church. Was that talking about you? The prophets. Was that talking about you? The prophets are the head of all churches. Christ is and the head of the, the church. Bible says Just a Christ. Moment. And I'm telling you what that means. Mean what? It means that, like for this church, you believe mostly in the teachings of the gospel of Jesus. We believe in and all the prophets from moment. Genesis to Revelation. Just a moment. I don't. I don't see a whole lot of people with holy Qurans in here. But most of you say that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Now that's what you've been saying. Referring to what? You say Jesus is your Lord and Savior. You I know, know what we're referring to? What, you, what are you referring to? We're talking about the spirit that was in him. Okay, right. well that's, that now, now. Yeah. Okay, then, but the spirit that was in Muhammad was the same spirit that was in Jesus. But we're not talking just, about Muhammad. Just a moment. You say you're just Christ. Yes, I didn't say I'm Christ. I said I'm their head. You're Jesus' head? I'm all of them's head. My Lord, and Lord. let me prove it. We don't play All we enough. got is just another false prophet. Let's don't play with it. We ain't got nothing more. No. We ain't got nothing more. 
Okay, well, you know what? If you're going to call me false without hearing me out, but I would then have you will be an unjust to me. Listen at the Bible. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 3. I will have you know that the head, the head of every man, of every man is Christ. Is Marvin Muhammad. Is Christ. Is Marvin. Is Christ. Is Marvin. Is Christ. You're no more Christ. Jesus preached about these false That's right. Christ. That's right. Amen. Okay. Amen. Listen at the scripture. Listen at the Bible. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. And at verse 23. Verse 23. Then if any man. If any man. That include you. That's right. And if I got anybody that came with you think they Christ, you can come up here too. Amen. Because I don't, I don't. They didn't say No. That's all right. I don't tolerate men insulting the scriptures. Amen. No. Well, you know. You know. I, won't I was told that from no I was told at all. Amen. I was told that you would hear me out. I heard you, and you didn't lie you out. so much until it vexed no, my sir. spirit. That's what I, I am not lying. You done lied so much. Amen. Didn't he ask me to prove what I said? Listen at the script. Didn't he ask Matthew me to prove 24. what I said? Yeah, don't, don't, don't bend that. Sir. Well, then why not let me prove it? All right, Mr. Christ, just hold it then. You will get, you will get your script. Why not let me prove it? You will get a chance. Read the All scriptures. Right. Listen. Matthew chapter 24 and at verse 23. Listen at the scriptures. Then if any man. If any man. Shall say unto you. Shall say to you. Lo. Lo. Here is Christ. Here is Christ. Or there. Or, you see, the Lord knew somebody like him was coming. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Whatsoever thing was written before time was written for you know how many men popped up on the scene Amen. before he was born? That's right. And said there was Christ? That's right. That's been done for years. Amen. Listen. Then if any man shall say unto you, if any man say to you, Lo, here is Christ. Here is Christ. Or there. Or there. Believe it not. What? Believe it not. We don't believe a word of you. Amen. For. Or there shall arise. There shall arise false Christ. That's you. Okay, go ahead. That's you. And false prophets. And false prophets. That's That's you. Keep going. And and shall show great signs. And shall show well, he's not showing anything, but go ahead. In so much. And so much. That if it were possible. If it were possible. They shall deceive. They shall deceive the very elect. Uh, Keep reading. Keep reading, man. Behold, I have told you before, wherefore if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. Well, this Keep is reading. considered a secret chamber. Keep reading. He'll read. i tell him when to read. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is considered Amen. a secret chamber. That's right. Because this is the house of God, a sacred place. That's right. And we have a Christ in here. Christ here. Amen. And the scripture says, Behold, he is in the secret chamber. He's in the secret chamber. Believe it not. Don't even believe him. Amen. What else? For as the lightning cometh out of the east and, what? and shineth even unto the west, yes. so also shall so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now stop right there. Yeah. Didn't I tell you I'm the son of man? You can tell us during the poem. Just a moment. Just a moment. <laughs> but didn't I tell you that I'm the son of man? Yeah, you told us that lie. Go ahead. Okay. All right. See, now, now before, first of all. You're Christ. First of all. What's the matter with you, Mom? <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm a liar, hmm. if I am a liar, then why are you afraid to hear my lie? And then correct it. Oh, we're not. Go ahead. Go ahead now. Get busy. Now, I know that what I'm saying is hard to, hard on anybody's ears. Oh, it's hard on mine. I believe it. But uh, but I, that's, I, I cannot stand here and not tell you what I know. Go ahead, brother. So now it says, this is the 15th chapter of the Holy Quran and the first chapter of Hebrews. <laughs> I hope your television viewers are bearing with us. Amen. It isn't that often you get a chance to see Christ on television. Now, now first thing I want to say again, I, I still want to say again, that I did not tell you that I'm Christ. I told you I'm the head of it. 
Now that's what I told you. You the head of Christ? I told you that I'm the head of them. Oh, well the Bible said the head of Christ is God. That's right. Now, You're God now? I'm the I'm the Lord of men. You're God Almighty? Just a moment. Let me let me deal with this first thing. Yeah, you deal with that. Okay. Now it says this is the uh, 28th verse mm -hmm. of the Holy mm -hmm. Quran. It says, And when thy Lord said to the angels, I am going to create a mortal, that's a man, of sounding clay, of black mud fashioned into shape. So when I have made him complete and breathed into him of my spirit, fall down making obeisance to him. Now this man is the head of the angels. And what I'm telling you is that is a prophecy about me. And you're the head of all the now, prophets. Yes. Well, well, now in Hebrews, it says the same thing. Go ahead, brother. It says, God, who in sundry times and in di diverse, meaning different manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days. Now the last days is talking about the Sabbath day which you are living in now. It says, have in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, inheritor of all things. And what? By whom also he made the world. That's you. Just a moment. Just a moment. Now, when you inherit something, someone else has to pass away. All of the prophets have now passed away and I have inherited their books. And because of that inheritance, you see, I'm not, I'm not what uh, you would call the messenger of Allah, but I am what the scripture refers to as the messenger of the covenant because it is the covenant of God that gave life to my mind. And so I inherited that. And then it says, who being the brightness of his glory. You know when you talk about the, the brightness of his glory, the, the brightness of that light out there is the intensity to which it shines. You know, Don't I, do that, I'm, please. I, I'm a patient man. The, the brightness of his glory, the word is the glory of God. Can I stop you And the minute? brightness of his glory is the understanding of it. Let me stop and you that's what I. Let me stop you a minute. Let's back up before you go down there. Let's get this last part. First chapter of the book of Hebrew. This is him. He said, God who has sundry times and the direst man is spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Hath in these last days spoken to us by his son. This is, say he's talking about him. Whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. worlds. You say this is you. You made the worlds? That's what I told you. I'm the beginning of God's new creation. You made this the is world. What's going to take place now? You gonna make the world? Yes. How you gonna do that? The mind that Allah has put in me uh -huh. is the mind that I'm here to offer to each and every one of you. And you gonna make the as world? As it is written, let this mind be in you that was also in the holy prophets in Christ. And the the mind of them cannot be in you if the understanding of what they are t what they taught. It's not in you. All right. All I'm right, here all right. to put it in you. Listen. All right. You need, all right. This this not going nowhere. Uh, I'm going to cut it right here. All right. Brother Bob, I'm glad you came. Right. Uh, to you that are here.